Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 57th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we are going to improve the script that we made in the previous tutorial. And um, I have it here. It's uh, called check and has the extension sh. And the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to check whether the input that has been provided to us, that is the username that we've stored in the variable log name, whether an account of that username actually exists on the system or not. And uh, obviously we have to use grep to search and we are going to search uh, in the password file in the etc folder. So I'll type in grep and uh, then I'll type in dollar log name. And you know, since this is a, a string, I'm going to put it within double quotes and uh, we are going to check whether this can be found in etc slash password, right? And uh, or if it if it is uh, there, then we do not want grep to display the pattern or the entire string, uh, you know, on screen. So we are going to redirect the output to the null file in the dev directory, and uh, then we are going to use if to check whether the exit status of uh, this command on line four is uh, zero or not. And uh, that I'm going to do by typing in dollar question mark hyphen eq space zero right and uh, well if the uh, exit status is zero then it means that you know a user account does exist you know with the login name that we've stored in the variable log name and in that case we are going to use echo to display uh, a message uh, like wait right because then the script is going to do the other thing and that is it's going to check you know whether the user has logged in or not and if it has then you know uh, it it will display some message and if it you know the user hasn't logged in then it's going to wait for the user to log in and you know whenever the user will log in it will you know display a message then so that's why we are going to you know just display a message like wait and uh, if the exit status isn't um, zero in that case, we are going to you know, get inside the else block and we are going to display a message uh, using echo, you know, something like uh, user not found, right? And um, we put a full stop there and uh, we move outside the if block by typing in the keyword fi. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's, uh, you know, that's the enhancement that I wanted to make to the script. And uh, I'll bring up my terminal and execute the script for you guys. So I'll have to type in sh space check dot sh because that's the script name. And when I type in, you know, uh, a username that I'm sure doesn't exist on the system like Sam and press the enter key, it tells me user not found, right? And I can um, get back my dollar prompt by typing in control C, uh, clear the script. And maybe I should, you know, uh, put in exit here because uh, you know we would not want to press control C to get our prompt back we would want the script to do that for us so I'll save this and I'll uh, bring up my terminal and I'll execute the script again and this time again with the input Sam and now you see that I get the message in my dollar prompt is automatically returned to me right but if I provide a valid username like new user 2 press the enter key then I get the message wait this time right and uh, let me open up another terminal window and uh, type in sudo space login and uh, when I press the enter key I have to type in my password and then the username of the account with which I wish to log in and then the password for that user account and um, I get my prompt and uh, you see that I don't get a message immediately and that's because uh, the while must be, you know, waiting for, uh, you know, the user to log in. And since we've used sleep 60 in our script, it means that, you know, the loop is going to check every 60 seconds, right? So it checked uh, once when we executed the script and now it's, you know, going to check again after 60 seconds. So, you know, we'll have to wait and, uh, you know, it could be any moment now. And there you go. It tells us that new user two has logged in and new user two was one minutes late in logging in, right? So that's uh, pretty much it. In the next tutorial, again, we are going to, you know, uh, make the script more efficient 
and uh, I'm gonna make a few more modifications. So see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this one and please subscribe to my channel.